I was coming down here this morning to feed the dogs and do that kind of thing and I noticed a nanny standing by the creek yelling and I came over here and looked and there were two babies down here on an island in the middle of the creek.
want to crawl. Yeah, I don't know right now. Well, another couple of goats saved. I gave them just a little bit and I could tell right away they weren't gonna, I don't know how they got over there so they could get back, but you could tell by the way the mom was acting and by the, by the way the babies were acting that they had been apart for a while. And so the babies weren't given any indication that they were gonna try to come back. And so I hollered at Lisa, had her come down for backup, crossed the creek, went over and was able to, after a couple of different tries, <laughs> corral them and carry them back across so it was a, a successful endeavor I came down here to gather cattle Lisa my editor my wife my boss has told me no more fencing and no more moving cattle for videos she's getting bored with that <laughs> I need to gather more cattle again and I came down here to the pasture I'm fixing to gather them in right on the fence so I'm going to show you kind of how to do that without having to go get a chainsaw and cut this out because time is of the essence this morning. I need to get them started moving. Uh, so I'm going to give you some brief kind of tips on, on what to do with that. This is a single wire electric. So let's get after that. Okay, this is a 90 degree section in the fence that I need to repair. First thing you want to do is kill power to the section. You can pull the wire on a 90 degree and it'll get you some slack. Hopefully it's gonna give me just enough slack to do what I need to do. Now I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna try to pull some of that slack this way, see how much I can get. Okay, so see I got a little slack, 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 slack. See how much slack I have here? That's good. Now what I'll do is I'll cut this wire right here. Then I'll pull it back through that tree, un out from under it, and then I'll run it back through the center of this tree. The tree is dead. I just need to get the fence up off the ground. Now I ran it back through and I'll put my little handy dandy splice on it here. You are going to lose a little bit of power, I think. But it's, it's not enough to matter where I am right here. Okay, so that's good. You can see it's going to run through here and be off the ground. So now all I do is go back down to the 90 degree, put it back on, and then go make it hot. Okay, there we go. We're ready to hook it back up. We'll test it real quick, make sure it's hot. That's it. Done. Let's go gather the cattle. This is on the other side of the tree just to make sure it's crossing through without any issues. Yep, 5700. So I just wanted to say, by no means is that a permanent fix, what I did just down to the fence. However, if you've got a single wire and that's aluminum, I'm actually going to swap it out. But if for some reason you had galvanized, you could do that, but just understand if it's at the beginning of your power run, you're going to lose some power because you're breaking that and then just touching it slightly back with that knot I had. So you will lose some power. So if it's after that point, if it's traveling a long ways as like a trunk line where you're having to get power off of it, I wouldn't do that. But for what I was doing, it worked well. And that tree will, I'll give it a chance to kind of, uh, degrade more and more and more where it gets so rotten that i can just go in there and almost move it by hand i don't have to go in there and spend a half a day three quarters of a day cutting it up and moving it so works good just a little tip I think I'm just about done gathering. We got kind of the last bunch going right here. 
I know I've got one pair left over there on the river but they're all headed down this way and getting out into this this big open field here which is what we want I do have three three calves that they left back back here so I'll have to leave the gate open and give the mamas a chance to go back and grab them because there's there's gonna be some calves that get stopped up here by this crossing so that's you that's just part of it when you're crossing a creek that's semi-deep hear them <laughs> 